This kind of like brings me to another point that we're striking against, uh, which is writers are no longer given the opportunity to go to set, which I wanted to bring up partially because it's how we became such good friends mm -hmm. is I was interacting with you mostly on set when I'd cover my episode, cover meaning I'd go down to set and sort of be the point person along with the director to make sure that the show was in the correct voice. I'd pitch jokes on set. That's always been an amazing way to, you know, have relationships with the actors, with the directors, to get to know how TV is made. TV is like an incredibly dynamic thing, which is changing until the second you put it on TV, basically. But while you're shooting it, um, there needs to be people there and another thing that the studios are sort of trying to cut away at is the opportunity for writers to go to set at all, except for a showrunner. Why? Why are they making this? It's up? all about money. Um, I'm so sorry to tell you this. <laughs> America's really obsessed with money. No, it it really is though. It's about shortening writers' contracts because if someone goes to set, you have to pay them. Uh, which, you know, again, from where I'm sitting, these companies, especially some of these tech behemoths, have so much money that we are making for them. And that mm -hmm. is all public, you know, how much revenue that these shows that we are making are earning places like Netflix. You'd think you could pay a person to go do the thing that they are both good at, but also it then gives them those skills to be able to go make you more shows. So I work with, on our show, Bumper Berlin, I have writers who are amazing writers who are producers, but have never been to set before. And that is a major skill set for if you become a producer that you just like need to have. Yeah. And I can speak from an actor's point of view, which is that it made it infinitely easier for me to understand what you were going for as a writer when I was able to communicate with you directly because you were on set and then also you got a chance to get to know us better which meant that it was easier for you to write in our comedic voice and to Absolutely. our comedic strengths and then when you would pitch stuff like so much of what's in the good place is of course written you know on the script but a lot of what you saw was also funny shit that we came up with on the fly with whichever writer was on set that day where we would pitch ideas back and forth and improvise together. And that made for some amazingly magical moments. And you don't feel confident, as confident when you don't have your, your showrunner or your writer on set as an actor, because you're like, fuck, are they gonna like this take? Are they gonna like this option in the edit? And so you don't have a chance to really advocate for your own opinion. And, and, and these are the moments that, that lead to really great and timeless art are when there is a synergy between the performer and the creators.